Hey y'all, today you'll learn how to crochet one of these easy wristlets. It's a keychain wristlet. It's made of just one row of one stitch, so it's super easy. And you can attach it to a lobster clasp or a keychain so that you can hold your keys. Or if you have one of those small wallets, you could also carry one of those. In order to crochet this, you will need two strands of worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using Dishy from We Crochet or Knit Picks. You'll also need a J six millimeter crochet hook. This is a Furls Odyssey. And then you'll need notions like a tapestry needle and little scissors. And then either a lobster clasp with like a one inch flat connector thing or a key ring. This is a one inch key ring. So let's go ahead and get started crocheting this keychain wristlet. Holding both strands of yarn together, make a slip knot. And I actually haven't left enough extra yarn here. You'll want a little bit of a longer tail because you're going to use that to help you join your keychain to like I guess the actual keychain part like your lobster clasp or your key ring. So now I'm going to chain 33. So I have 33 chains. You can double check if you want, but honestly, as long as you're close, it'll be okay. The biggest thing you wanna make sure of is that it'll fit around your wrist. And so to do that, you can kind of fold your chain over just to see. So this will give me, it fits around my wrist and I've got a little bit extra so that when I pull my hand through, I'm not like, totally stretching my keychain or my wristlet. So now we're gonna link to double crochet all the way across. So flip your chain over, you wanna use the back bumps, these right here. And we want to insert our hook into the second chain. So here's chain one and here's chain two. So I'll insert it into the back bump. I'll yarn over and pull up a loop. And now I'll insert my chain into the, my hook into the fourth chain. So here's three, four, and I'll yarn over and pull up a loop. And now I have three loops on my hook and I can finish this like a normal double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through those last two loops. And here's my very first linked double crochet. So now for the rest of the row, I'll insert my hook into this horizontal bar on the double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then insert my hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then I can, with these three loops, just finish like a double crochet. So pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. And I will just link double crochet all the way down my keychain. This crochet keychain is made exclusively of linked double crochet stitches. So it's a super easy keychain wristlet project. Um, if you're just learning how to crochet or you're practicing your linked double crochet stitches. So go ahead and finish link double crocheting all the way down this row and I'll catch you at the end. 
So I have two linked double crochet stitches left in my crochet keychain. And then we can close off our wristlet and connect it to either your key ring or your lobster clasp, so depending on which one you chose to use, or both. All right, so leave a decent length tail, maybe like 10 to 12 inches. Trim both strands of yarn and then pull your hook all the way through your stitch. So now you have like the fabric of your wristlet ready and we just need to fold it. Um, if you were to fold it this way, that's the wrong way because you can't see that texture from your linked double crochet stitches. So you want to make sure that you fold it so the wrong side is on the inside. And then the side with this like distinctive line, you want that to be facing out because that's the cool part and that's what we want to show off in our wristlet. So then decide what you want to connect this to, be it a key ring or a lobster clasp. It's going to be the same process regardless. We're basically just going to like whip stitch around the base of whichever keychain you want to use. So using a wide eye tapestry needle, one that's big enough to fit both strands of this cotton yarn, just attach your needle. And then I'm first going to just join this to the first stitch of the other side. And then I'll put my key ring there. And you're just going to like stitch around going through the first stitch on each side. And then I like to go back the other direction too. Because you want this to be super secure. Like you don't want your keys to fall off or anything. Because that would defeat the whole purpose. And when you start to run out of yarn, you can just weave in that. And then you'll pick up the other strands from when you ended your project, like that last 10 to 12 inches we left. And then you'll do the same thing to just join all of this to your keychain. So go ahead and finish weaving through joining your keychain and then weaving in your ends when you're done and you will have finished this super easy crochet keychain wristlet. And then from here you can go ahead and clip on your keys or if you have like a little wristlet wallet, whatever you want to connect to your keychain. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the You Should Craft channel and check out the You Should Craft blog for more free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials.